Okay, everybody, and this is going to be the craziest challenge we've ever done in our lives. Here we are, conveyor belt yakasoba. So literally endless noodles on this conveyor belt. You just basically grab the bowls and go. So you do pay first right here. Um, it is 3,300 yen. Uh, I think right now with exchange that is... We got 25, 26 American dollars. They give you um, just a couple of condiments, unfortunately. And then if you want more, um, you have to buy them or pay for them. I think that's BS. Um, but anyway, so yeah, 40 minutes, and then pretty much all you can eat noodles. All right, so to give you a little bit more detail, so we're at a place called Musa Wanko Soba Kuru Kuru which is a first in Tokyo, which is a conveyor belt wanko soba. So wanko soba being eating large amounts of soba noodles, which are wheat noodles in little bowls and eating lots of them. So this being on the conveyor belt, the way the system works is you have to put the noodles from the black bowl, the little black bowl into the red bowl before you can eat them. You're not supposed to eat them directly from the little black bowl. You can't put multiple black bowls into the red bowl. It's just like one at a time kind of thing. Um, 40 minutes and I'll just have the rest of the details, but I figured just to give you a little bit of insight into that. Um, so yeah, it kind of is a really traditional kind of Japanese uh, kind of challenge, usually not necessarily in a conveyor belt, but they just bring out like rounds and rounds of bowls and you stack up lots and lots and lots of bowls. Now I will say, these noodles literally are just plain cold wheat noodles. Um, they're not hot, the broth they give you is not hot, they give you the tiniest little bit of condiments. They're really not trying to give you flavor or enjoyment. I think it's more just the, almost like game, I guess. And you're, yes, you're literally eating plain cold noodles. That being said, cool experience, cool challenge. And we were trying to beat the record. Each month they have a new record. The record of this month is 384 bowls set by a man. And they have a female record as well. So we're gonna see if we try to beat that record. And uh, that's about it. So 40 minutes, all you can eat Wanko Soba noodles. So let's see what we can do. Um, I figure I had to set my camera up here and uh, we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna get some noodle stacks and the top is 384, 384. So that's a lot of noodles. So let's see what we can do. And so this is the set we're given. So this is a, I guess a soup, soup. Uh, which is the bowl, and then this is the big bowl. So this you dump your water in, because the noodles have a little bowl, so this is optional. Here, this is what you dump those little bowls into this bowl, and you can add your soup. And then these are your little bits of flavors, wasabi, ginger, and scallions, onions, and uh, chopsticks, and 40 minute timer, and kind of go like this gentleman right here, just kind of eat. Slurp, so there you go. So he grabs the bowl, dumps it in the red bowl, and slurps. Cool. Are you looking for the Vegas experience but don't want to leave your house? Well, thankfully, today's sponsor being Golden Nugget Online Casino, you can. Did you know that Golden Nugget Online Casino now has an online casino app where you can play all your favorite casino games right from your phone? And I'm here to tell you about an amazing deal they have going on right now. To all new customers that sign up with Golden Nugget Online Casino using my promo code Joel Hansen and make a minimum deposit of $5 within seven days, you will get $50 in casino credits. So they have lots of different games like Cleopatra, Fortune Coin, and of course a variety of Golden Nugget exclusives, which gives you the experience of Vegas right in your home or on your phone, anywhere in between. So like we said right now, Golden Nugget Online Casino is giving all new customers $50 in casino credits who deposit a minimum of $5 within seven days of registration when they sign up using my promo code Joel Hansen. So use that code. You can also click the link down below to download the app and well bring the las vegas experience with you your home your phone anywhere in between so like we said use that code and click the link down below and you can get 50 dollars in casino credits today everybody so we're gonna get started here in just a moment but real quick because i did go to the lovely 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 fish market i do want to try this uh, fresh fish that i bought earlier so real quick, just because I haven't eaten all day, this is a piece of lean slash medium lean tuna. Oh, oh my God. 
It's like butter. It's melting your mouth. Absolutely delicious. Telling me I can't bring outside food in, but that being said, they said I can have one bite uh, just as a special uh, one-time thing, so I do appreciate that. Gotta have my, at least try my fish while it's fresh. With that tuna, is so good. That's literally, it's like the other day. I had tuna um, in a sushi video, and it, like what I did, uh, we went to sushi, I should say. And it was absolutely delicious. It is just like pure melt in your mouth, soft, fresh. Now let's try this um, fatty tuna. So this is like the Botoro, whatever they call it. A uh, little bit of wasabi. Oh yeah. You can see like the streaks of the fat in it. Try to get a little soy. There's a little soy in here somewhere. Kind of spilled all in the bag. Try that. Mm. Listen, it's tuna. How can you go wrong? But admittedly, oh, that's pretty good. I like the flavor of the first one a little better. And last but not least, just a scallop real quick. I love scallops. I've had the best scallops of my life here in Asia. Just so fresh. A little wasabi, a little soy. Mmm. Well, interesting. This one's crunchy. Mmm. Very different. Delicious. But um, the ones I had weren't crunchy. They're very just like soft. All right. Now that that is done, because first things first, usually I say eat the veggies for the kids, but I don't have any veggies here, so I guess we're eating the protein for the kids today. But let me put this away and let's get started on some noodles. All right, so anyway, buddy, I guess we will get started. I think this could get a little monotonous after a bit, as these are, you know, noodles. But hey, this is an experience. This is crazy, like a conveyor belt noodle thing, so it is pretty cool. And hey, I'm all down for the experience. So, I don't know if there's a right way to hold these or not. Well, maybe. Anyway, um, so from my understanding, I just press the timer when we go. Yeah. So, we can start at maybe, say like, five, four, three. Delay, so I haven't even time I can go with. Two, one, let's go. Oh. I broke it already. I broke the rules, so it's like the big little ball and the big ball. And then, little ball and big ball, and repeat. And they say, uh, that worked. They say, um, you're not allowed to put multiple big bowls. Sorry, you're not allowed to put multiple little bowls in the big bowl. At least you're not supposed to. So, To me, they taste like a uh, plain spaghetti noodles. Nothing that bad. But they're pretty plain. Hey everyone, welcome to this video where right here we have literally one of the most action-packed, crazy, involved kind of food challenge slash almost eating contest that I think we've ever done. And some are um, definitely more than others. Thank you. They're not evenly sized. So the Wanko Soba setup, which is again, eating like a large amount of little bowls of these noodles, is something that has been quite popular in the Japanese culture for a long period of time. However, this system with the conveyor belt is quite new, hence this place being the first of its kind in Tokyo. But noodles and chill. 
being honest, like you don't do this for taste. They really are just plain wheat noodles, which are cold. So it's literally like eating cold spaghetti noodles um, in North America. That's literally what these were. Um, there's like I've had different quote unquote soba noodles before which were a little different but these were identical to cold spaghetti noodles um, but if you did you know like have the different accompaniments with it um, obviously you know you could eat it more enjoyable at a casual pace Forty, everybody they have to be fast because we'll slow down It's unavoidable. The beauty of Japan is that they have kind of like experiences like this. I think that's what was just kind of most unique about Japan is they just have so many unique kind of eatings and experiences and just places you can go and check out. Because like I said, this is almost as much like a game as it is eating. And eventually... I'm sure I'm going to want to uh, use my flavors. I'm being honest. I wouldn't mind a little seasoning right now. So the actual weight of these, they said I believe that uh, 100 bowls was equal to about a kilogram of noodles. Um, so that's about 2.2 pounds per 100 bowls, or approximately, if I recall. Um, no, there's like a lot of strategy you could use in this. You know, I had no strategy. I was not like trying to really go crazy. I just wanted to kind of beat that record. Um, so there's like, you know, the little flick of the hand like I'm doing within the two bowls is you're not supposed to eat out the little bowl in the big bowl. You could use your flavors. You could use chopsticks, um, you know, and you could eat at a lot more casual pace. But so these covered bowls are mystery. I didn't know that. So it could be a condiment or more, more noodles. Or empty. Let's try it. This one I got. Sesame seeds, okay. So, so I guess that's a good bowl. Thank you. But really that's the majority of the information. Definitely let me know in a comment what you think of this challenge. Is this something you'd want to try? Is this something you think that would be enjoyable? Or do you think eating just endless amounts of cold plain spaghetti noodles would get a little old? We'll put it that way. Um, but let me know in a comment down below and let's see. I do if they're hot. I like hot food. Yeah, I really use some flavors here soon. And you can't see them because the lady has them so nice over here to the side, but there's definitely a stack of bowls coming. That's for sure. Okay. Try to do a few more before get the flavors going. One hundred. Thank you. Triple order of noodles. And they're dry. Mm. I like that I like that one better because it's hot. Oh, got 
radish. That's a good bowl. Save that for later. So 10 that minutes in. See what we can do. And I am allowed to leave go get water. Why am I filling up? It's a lot of noodles. Like I said, normally people take the drain the water out of the soba, which is probably a like a, ta a teaspoon or a tablespoon each. So it's kind of like I'm drinking each one, or with each one. Which does take a bottle. Excuse me, thank you. Definitely not even about noodles in each bowl. Some of them are way bigger. I'm just grabbing. You could selectively pick if you wanted to, but it's all good. Here you go. It's funny, all the cold noodles, the cold liquid, they're actually cold. This man's got to 200. Woo! This is not easy. And the noodles are getting colder. Why? Like hot noodles. Here, help me manage my bowl. Does help?
Two's happening. Thank you. Ooh, well, let's see if any of these we can do more. Ooh, I love some flavors. Maybe I'll try them with the broth, the soup. Hopefully, let's see, it probably tastes way better. Oh, so much better. Oh my God. Guys, that's the way to freaking do it. Oh my God. Mmm. Wow. Is the soup supposed to be hot or cold? Excuse me. Is the soup the broth? Is it supposed to be, is it hot or cold? So much nicer with the flavors. But I'll switch up here in a bit. I have 21 to have them, Sam. Thank you. You think so? Yeah, if you keep up the pace. I'll try. You think you can do it? So. Thank you. What, what's the highest anybody's ever gotten? These noodles are surprisingly cold. Alright, we are about 
26 minutes in. I don't know how many we have. Let me, uh, what's our little flavors? I'm gonna try some wasabi. Love me some wasabi, some ginger, love me that. Some onions, Woo. Just get a little, uh, something gone. Uh, excuse me, comments of this. Wow. Noodles. Mmm, oh man. That tastes so much better than all this. Thank you. So these flavors, I've been eating this all day. Compliments to the condiments. <laughs> That'll be a new thing. Compliments to the condiments. <laughs> Twelve minutes left. Let's make some more flavors usage. I don't care if I slow down a bit. I think we're on track to hopefully beat that record. And I gotta say, it is so, so much better with the flavors, guys. Comments in the comments. And new thing. Mm, yummy. Sauce or the broth. It's like soy. Sometimes better. Play noodles. Sesame seeds. Uh, oh yeah, they're toasted. They actually add a little bit of flavor. Not bad. I 
lots of chemical spice. Throw that in there. My broth. Radish. Onions. Just add it all in there. The Togarashi. Abundance for sure. I have my filling noodles. Woo wee. No shortage. At all. You have no shortage. Let's see. Ginger wasabi. Nope, double noodles. That's okay. place is crazy in the best way possible. This was crazy. That was a lot of freaking noodles. Um, I mean, I'll be honest like I said, it kind of just tastes like plain spaghetti noodles, but a little bit of that broth, a little bit of the, um, what do you call it? Thank you. Oh yeah, a little bit of broth, of that spice, the wasabi, the ginger, all very, very, very delicious. So we did beat the uh, record of four, sorry, 384, and uh, yeah, we have quite a few. Let me show you, guys, let me show you this. We're, we're lucky that it's, this is, it's dead here. There's no one here, look at this. Look, look, look at all this. This is the whole thing of old. This is what the normal counter looks like. This is what all the bowls look like. That's insane. How many did we get, ladies? How many bowls? So overall, it's 490 bowls. 
490. Look at that, everybody. Yeah, this is like a card that shows you have 490 gold. Okay. And this is like our original sticker. We give it to whoever reach 100 gold. Okay, cool. Congratulations. So we won a sticker. We're getting 100. We have a record of our 490 whatever bowls. And uh, that's insane. Maybe I'll try to get a thumbnail with this. For that, everyone, that's about it. So, cool experience. That, till next time. Stay happy, all the hungry. Happy eating. Will you be putting your name on there if you want to make a picture, a video? Sure. I'm gonna put my name up on the on the, the board here, I guess. Yeah? At some point. Do you need my name? There we go. For a few days, it's the end of the month, but for three more days, my name will be up there. But all good in the hood. So yeah, that was definitely a cool experience, everybody. I've had enough noodles for a while, though. Ugh, it's a lot of noodles. A lot, a lot of cold noodles. I'm cold. Is that? So I'm gonna grab some hot water. It is a cold day out here in Tokyo, but uh, at that, everyone, like I said, hope you enjoyed this video. This is cool. Tokyo is a heck of a place. The sushi was freaking awesome. I'm gonna enjoy that later. And then that's all I'm eating today because this was absolutely so much. So many noodles. But like I said, everybody, cool place. Thank you to the, the uh, friendly um, ladies here. They were very, very nice. Um, but yeah, everyone. So until next time, of course, have the hungry, happy eating. Compliments to the condiments. That is a new one today. And that. Have a good day. So oh, here we are with the. This is all the balls. This is insane. And the ladies told me, so 100 bowls is one kilo of noodles. So we had about five kilos of noodles here today. So it's quite a bit. And this is what 150 bowls looks like. Good job. And there we go, everybody. <laughs> There we go. Four nine. All right, we're back in the Shinjuku area, but by day, this is a happening spot. Like, it's pretty impressive. Um, anyway, we are off to do some kind of well, yeah, videos. We'll say that being said, but uh, yeah, cool place. This is uh, this is happening, happening spot. Pretty crazy. And uh, impressive to say the least. And this whole area of town is like anime themed, amusement themed. This is super interesting. Like, it's literally like uh, out of a cartoon or like out of an anime. Like, heck yeah, Shinjuku. This is a cool area. <laughs> and here we go. We're taking the main crossing right in the middle of the street. Shibuya Crossing. There we go, everybody. Just like in the movies. And this Shibuya area is super cool. Like, this is so, you know, straight out of the movie Japan, Tokyo. Super awesome. One thing I can't get over well, one, there's vending machines everywhere. Everywhere. I'm talking like middle of nowhere. There's just a vending machine. Um, but how many places just have high quality Wagyu beef, like incredibly marbled Wagyu. It's because it's so like common here, if that makes sense. Um, and that's not even like A5, but like you get A5 like everywhere. You get like Japanese Wagyu everywhere. It's crazy. You know, you gotta look for it in, in um, you know, North America. Here, it's everywhere. So it's crazy to see it literally as popular as like, I don't know, a sirloin meat in America. One other thing I'll mention. Now people say Japan's expensive. And don't get me wrong, I'm not saying it's like Thailand cheap, but 
compared to Hong Kong, it's cheap. Like, at least reasonable, affordable. So, shout out to, like, even being in, you know, the heart of Tokyo, Japan. And again, prices being pretty reasonable. So, yeah, kudos.